grocery bag of panties, bro. Just panties. You got it. Like some of the stuff was just dragging out. I want you to know that I'm doing so good. Definitely the wrong lipstick. It's the only one I had. I needed something on my lips. Just saying. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Chit Chat with Ripper. I am Ripper. So I'm in the staircase. Can y'all hear me? I'm in the staircase and I'm at work. And this is low key my office. We say that, but it's not an office. Clearly, it's the staircase, but nobody's ever in here. So I think this is about to be my new story time telling place. I don't have a place where I'm comfortable. I'm like, why aren't you comfortable telling stories at your house? I feel like my balls are mad thin. <laughs> and it's like, it's not like I live in a big building. It's like, we know each other. We live in, a, you know what I mean? So it's like, I'm not even trying to get deep, deep in stories telling my business for real and you can hear me and it's like some stories i cannot tell loud <laughs> not saying that i have crazy stories i feel like all the crazy now nah, we still got more of the same but i just don't want to be on notch 55,000 telling my story and i'm telling it to the people who and i know i shouldn't care but y'all know me i'll be hearing <laughs> Some stuff I don't care, like I'm telling you YouTube so that I really shouldn't care, but it's like, I don't want you right here in my business and I don't even know you for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just too close to home. I don't want my business out like that. So if there are stories that I did tell, it's probably because I didn't care and I just had to get something out. But if I could help it, I don't want to be telling story time to my apartment. I'm sorry. Nah, maybe in a few months I might not care, but right now it's just, uh, it's gonna keep it about. But I thought about the story the other day and I was like, oh, I gotta tell the channel cause this is definitely gonna be a story. So boom, this is a story time at the time. All right, I don't know how to say this and I'm a little embarrassed to even say like, so I never said this out loud. It was one of them things where, you know how like you wanna take your L in peace? Yeah, I took my L in peace. <laughs> Especially cause I ain't never telling like this and I never told sir that I found this, it's just I found it, I was embarrassed, definitely turned off, and I just took my L and went about my day, cause I was already like, <sighs> so ladies, if you ever dealt with somebody who is like, it's always something like, like I'm in a new sense in life and dating now, you could never, <laughs> I would never get caught taking and tolerating and stuff that I did before, you know what I'm saying? Just saying, why my eyebrows look so damn close? <laughs> All day, yo, bro. The brows is not even as close in real life. Like, what? Okay. Anywho, um, what was I saying? So, back in the day, day, right? Listen, I'm a creep. I'm, I'm gonna just be honest, I'm a creep. If I've ever dated a person. Through the years, as like, to the more recent years, I feel like my creepiness definitely turned down. I'm not as much of a creep as I probably was back in the day, but I'm a creep overall, that's what it is. And for the most part, we kinda click if you're a creep too. <laughs> he, okay, so this sir was like a bit of a creep, like, yeah. And some of the things that we used to talk about, I used to be like, all right, you got it. You took the cake. You got it. Like, some of the stuff would just drag it out. But one of his creep-like ways, well, the way it was described to me, he no longer did this, so this was no longer a thing. The way it was described to me was, like, this was something that I used to do back in the day. I'm not on this wave anymore. Like, back in the day, it used to be bad, but it's not as bad. So, to my understanding, when it was brought to me, he no longer did this. So you have to understand the confusion. Well, I wasn't confused because you clearly told me that you did this, but the confusion of, but you said you don't do this no more, you haven't anymore, and now this is where we were. Right, cool. And ladies, anywho, just, yeah, if you know, you know. One of his, and okay, I feel bad, because it's not like I'm telling like, it's my story time, because this is what I found. And like I said, to my understanding, we, like, 
you didn't do this anymore. So you have to understand the confusion of when I find out that, yes, you did. Anywho, one of his, you know, things was he used to like to keep panties. <laughs> he used to dead like keep panties, like I guess, I don't know. Panties are good for the past, in the past, I don't know, he used to do this. And it used to be bad, but that was like in his earlier years. And then like we, when we talked about it, it was like a laugh and joke of what, you know, what he, whatever. We were having a talk. Listen, I, for the most part, if I'm dealing with you, I know you're a creep, you know I'm a creep, and we just creeping together. It is what it is, right? So it's a conversation. Like, you know, we talk about these things. Like, okay, and I would never make nobody feel bad for what they like. That's just what they like. It's just about if I could handle or do, you know what I'm saying? It, that all depends, but I'm just saying, in the midst of, we talked about it, and we was laughing about it. And I was like, um, that's different. Something like you used to keep it, like, for yourself. You used to keep it into work with them, like, keep them separate and bag them and tag them, like, keep memoirs of them, like, what you used to do. And he was like, nah, I should just, like, like it just started out, somebody left a pair, and next thing you know, I was making bitches, sorry, I was making young ladies leave them before leaving, like, just leave your drawers, like, what? So I remember, like, we talked about it. I mean, it's different. Like I said, who am I to not keep what you like? You know what I'm saying? That's just, it's different. It was different to me. So they just was okay with leaving them. Like, I mean, I'm a creep. I probably wouldn't even care. Fuck okay. <laughs> right, Sorry, that's just me. But if I knew that you, this is what you did, I probably wouldn't have. Like, if, now knowing I wouldn't do that. Anyway, so the story time is so boom. So one day, I was doing something. And it turned into me like straightening up the room. Cause Sir was a really, was a neat freak. Like neat freak, neat freak. And something happened. I think he was doing like renovations or something to his room or whatever the case may be. And the room was getting like fixed up. So the room gets fixed up. And um, I wound up coming over one day after work and I knew he was coming home a few hours after me. So I just was like straightening up in the meantime or whatever. Anywho, I guess the movers or whoever who did the room didn't fully fix the room back, whatever, and it they didn't put back something. So as I'm cleaning up, I come across this bag. It's a big grocery bag, like, <laughs> it's a big grocery bag of panties, bro. Just panties. And, you know, I'm a plushly plus size, you know what I'm saying? So it was big panties, small panties, medium panties. It was just panties galore, you hear me? I never even seen... Like, nah, I'm not gonna say this much. Man. I don't know. I just ain't never seen this much <laughs> in different sizes looking like the store. Okay, and I was turned off like, wait, what? And this is why I be telling you stuff be falling in my lap. Like, yeah, I was, I mean, I was straightening up. I wasn't looking for anything. I was just straightening up, came across this big bag. I'm like, what the? Trying to push the bag back into where I was. And I was like, well, why is it not fit? And I tried to like open the bag to let more air out, open the bag, peep the panties. I'm like, we for real? It was new to me, I ain't gonna lie. It definitely threw me off, but I mean, listen. Anywho, I said all that to say, I came across it, I silently closed it back and was just like, all right. It got super weird after that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just was turned off, like, so we just. So clearly this is not a thing that you used to do. This is just what you're doing. No matter how old it was, it was the fact that you still had them. Like, if that was something that you used to do back in the day, so we just keeping them for years on end. You said this was years ago you used to do this. I'm not knocking you. I'm just, that was just different. I can hold you. And I definitely felt bad. I mean, not because of that. It was definitely other stuff. But it it was one of the things that was just like, so. Because even if it's old, why are you keeping? How old? What? And they weren't brand new. I mean, just from the looking to the bag. Oh. I Listen, story down. It's a lot. Just the, 